Many teenagers unfortunately smoke weed or pot or ganja. I'll tell you what happens if these teenagers smoking pot or ganja need anesthesia and the fun begins now. Namaste and welcome. I'm Dr. Rajiv Ayer, a pediatric anesthesia doctor. Weed is a slang name for the psychoactive drug marijuana. This comes from the dried flowers of a plant called Cannabis sativa. Question to you, have you seen this plant? Comment yes or no. There are many people who might have seen the plant because this is freely grown in many parts of the world naturally, like northern part of India, Punjab, Haryana, Nepal, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and many other countries. Part has so many different names like Ganja, Hashish, Vee, Mary Jane, 420, Hemp, Bud, Oof, that's a lot of different names for this popular thing. Many teenagers try to get access to part for recreational use and also there are many places that use this for medicinal purposes. Pot is a very commonly used illicit substance amongst teenagers and hence they can have anesthesia anytime. The pot liquid can be put in a vaping device and smoked. Any amount of pot can be used in that device and it is not possible to predict how much pot goes into the body. What a messy problem. Now smoking pot messes up most organs in the body. Firstly, teenagers who smoke pot require more anesthesia than those who do not smoke pot. This could be the anesthesia medicine used through the intravenous route or the anesthesia gas. This shows that pot messes up the brain. Now before the operation, pot smokers can have more anxiety and behavioral problems than those who do not smoke pot. Now pot smokers also have more pain after an operation because pain medicines don't work properly on them and they need more pain medicines. There can be a heart attack. If you want to know why young people get heart attacks and what you can do about it, I have left a video in the description below. Now pot smokers can also have problems with breathing all kinds of issues happen. These teenagers cannot sleep well after anesthesia. If the surgery and getting out of surgery gets longer, then smoking pot cannot happen in the hospital. Then these teens can go through a withdrawal reaction, which is a completely different set of problem. Okay, here is what you need to do if you smoke pot. Be honest, tell your doctor that you do. So the anesthesia doctor can take care of you appropriately based on that information. If you found any value with this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you are interested in videos related to anesthesia and operation in children, do subscribe to the channel. Also, I have left a link to other anesthesia and operation related videos here in the playlist. Do check them out. All the links is also in the description below. Take care, stay safe. I'll talk to you soon.